Trash to treasure, trash to treasure, trash to treasure. Here we all cash I got gold nuggets, I got small dimes, I got me some quarters, and I'm gonna, gonna cash in. Here we all cash in. Welcome to Trash to Treasures, where someone else is trash. It's someone else. Hey, what's going on guys? Chris from Trash Treasure here. Real quick announcement. This is actually a re-upload. There's a long story behind why I'm going to be re-uploading about 18 episodes from seasons 2 and seasons 3. We're currently filming season 4, but again, this is a re-upload, so enjoy the episode and have a good time. Happy hunting. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to season 2, episode 11. You know what I'm saying? We are looking really good really fly tonight it is about 10 minutes to 2 a.m. in the morning and as you can see behind me these lovely streets it is empty it is quiet the birds haven't even started chirping yet this is my time to shine right here you know what I'm saying but to be honest with you I don't know if they're watching my videos guys hey hey you know what I'm saying it's an open field but I know who you are hunting my territory, you know what I'm saying? I've seen them rip bags. I know you're looking at my spots, so I might have to switch around my time of night. I go out because I think they're on the prowl, you know what I'm saying? I still find some good stuff because you know what I'm saying? I'm dedicated, baby. I'm dedicated, you know what I'm saying? Boom, active sweater. Boom, grazie. Grazie, Italian. Grazie. Free means free. Anyway, guys, welcome. I'm so glad you guys have joined me. If you don't know already, or if this is your first time with the big Sea Dog, you know what I'm saying? Then you know my boy J Dog and my boy Shelfie. Yes, that's right, guys. You voted. Mr. Sleep has changed his nickname to Shelfie. Anyway, let me tell you a funny story about it real quick, and then we'll dive right on into the finds. So Shelfie, aka old Mr. Sleep, gets a hold of me and says, Hey man, What's up with this shelfie? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Selfie? Like, who's taking a selfie? He's like, shelfie. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he tells me about my own video where I ask you guys to vote. I totally forgot. Anyway, all right, guys, enough of this. Let's get right onto the finds because that's what we've come here for to see what the sea has succeeded in finding. Right off the bat here, guys, we got ourselves a beautiful, beautiful PS4 box. Look at this right here. Now, I mean, of course it's not going to be in there, but these things might fetch a few bucks. Let's see if we can reach in here and grab this sucker right here. I'm getting closer, getting closer. Well, guys, man, uh, you gamers are going to be pretty bummed at me, but I actually left that PS4 box in the trash can. And the reason why, don't uh, come to conclusions too quickly. Now, I went on eBay, PS4, box only, and box. And before Christmas, people were actually putting those boxes, just the box, and they were selling them for top dollar, but it was trickery. I mean, who's really going to pay like a couple hundred bucks for a box, you know? I mean, I'm not sure if that was legit or not. I heard about some kind of some scams like that where they put box only, box only, and then they just kind of um, took people's that they didn't read you know most people they'll read they'll they won't even read your craigslist ad or your ebay ad um and they'll be like hey man uh is it new and you're like uh the description said it was new right like all right cool man you know so anyway so the ps4 box was deep you saw the black sony bag right next to it right i could have packaged it up maybe sold it for who knows but uh it's a rarity that there was probably a leftover cable i mean you never know you never know but the reason i didn't get it we're sitting on about 2 o'clock in the morning right now. I would have to have probably leaned over pretty far. I need to get uh, a picker-upper thing. Um, and uh, you know what? I'm going to go out and buy one. And I'm going to stash it in the back. And whenever I see a long reach, you need that picker-upper. You know, that picker-upper, from, uh, from what I understand, that picker-upper is worth its weight in gold, guys. So remember that when you are on the hunt. All righty, a couple more complexes tonight. All right, guys, look at this right here. We got a JVC, looks like laptop charger here. A uh, bunch of ribbons and cables. We got some books. We got the whisperer. We got the dog whisperer here. So these might fetch some dollars on Amazon here, so not bad. All right, you guys are going to like this right here. This is the trash can right next to my house. Check this out, guys. 
I think somebody was moving out here. We got like brass, like brass mugs. We got remotes right here. Check this out right here. Look at this. I'm just fishing through this bag right here. And I'm checking out. Look, look, at, look at this thing right here. Look at this thing right here. Man, is that... You think that could be silver? Like stainless steel or is that silver? Look at some engravings on it. Look at that, guys. That's nice. Wow. Wow. Alrighty, guys. Good news, good news, good news. So it's pouring rain, right? And it has been the last couple days. And well, you know, we're looking, we're looking still, we're looking pretty good still, even though, eh, well, no one really puts anything out during rainy days. Now, again, I think I've mentioned before, uh, my brother and his wife are out in Colorado, and so things kind of slow down out there during the snow season as well. So, luckily where I am, it's not too seasonal, um, but you definitely get some days like this. As you can see out the uh, the window here, it's pretty cloudy and pretty gloomy. Well, anyway, I'm over at one complex doing a flyby, doing a flyby, and um, just kind of, you know, checking the resources out. I see an Ikea four-wheel like kind of like a, a file cabinet type thing white uh, white shelving and it's raining i'm like you know what mm, i'm just gonna go ahead and just snatch and grab it i wasn't even gonna film it and i well, i didn't but uh, anyway so let's get to the uh the resources what did i find well beautiful ikea four-wheel uh with three drawer pull out like kind of like a craft uh, type of a uh, file cabinet type thing not really for paperwork but kind of for like arts and crafts it's probably retails my guess, 75, you know, upwards 69 bucks, something like that, probably at Ikea. I'll have to look that up in my catalog. Uh, next, we uh, peered into the uh, trash bin, and lo and behold, we found um, a hard case. It looks like it's for some sort of maybe electronics or video equipment. A very, very hard case um, that you see some of those, um, well, I'm just going to have to show it to you. Anyway, so next up, a Hot Wheels controller of some sort. I don't know if it's like for PS2 or something like that. I'll show you guys that too. It's all in the trunk, but I got to get to the movie, so we're heading out right now. Um, so let's see what else here. And, um, oh yeah, down by my feet here. I'll try to show it to you uh, here. Uh, actually, no, it's kind of dangerous because it's raining. Um, I uh, found another external hard drive. So guys, like... I got mad external hard drives. It's time to sell this stuff, you know? So um, I left the power cords, and again, it is raining, but the external hard drive is probably... The reason why these guys throw it away, I, I've mentioned it before, but the power source to the external hard drive, it breaks, right? As in, when you plug in the 12-volt thing to power up the external hard drive, it doesn't work. Well, it's still salvageable, guys. I have videos on this on some of my other channels where you take apart the external hard drive plastic, you take out the actual hard drive inside, you install that on your desktop computer, and you have a hard drive working again. It's a little technical, but not really. Um, takes about, you know, five minutes or less, you know. Uh, takes certain cables, though. But um, anyway, I'll try to resource my other uh, YouTube channel's link where I do that to an external hard drive. Anyway, guys... Uh, fantastic. Let me see if I can show you just one here at the moment real quick. Sorry, I'm talking too long, but I'm excited. Here's one right here. That's a new one, man. Holy cow. That's the first time. So again, it is wet, but it was face down like this. So the rain was hitting the plastic on the top. So I'm hoping I can salvage that. I'm hoping it wasn't too rain soaked. Um, again, this was on the bottom of the trash can and, uh, <laughs> Anyway, man, people be crazy, but, hey, daddy needs new shoes on the car, you know what I'm saying? It's raining, I got the slicks going in the back, I got no tread, I'm doing some spinnies, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, it's all good, baby, it's all good. All right, check in with you in a second. All right, guys, so check this out here. So we got the um, Western Digital, and I took off the cover here. This is actually a newer model, guys, um, or newish model, I'd say within the last couple years. Um, and uh, so I took off the cover here. And um, it, uh, this one is actually looking pretty good here. Um, this one just had a little bit of light rain on it. The one that I think is completely busted here is a 60 gig kind of little passport type of a one here. Um, that one's pretty soaked in water. Uh, but this one here is actually a Western Digital 500 gigabyte um, uh, hard drive. And so obviously I've found uh, some better ones than uh, 500 uh, gigabytes. Again right here, 500 gigabyte Western Digital. Sorry if it... Uh, 
keeps auto focusing out there. Um, and then this is the other one I have right here. So check this out. This is actually, hopefully this is worth some cash here. So this is by, um, designed by F.A. Porsche. Right over here where my fingers are here, it says that. And then over here it says L-A-C-I-E here. And then again, designed by F.A. Porsche. And I'm not sure exactly what this one is. It's completely sealed up there with, um, you know, uh, the little cable inputs there. But um, this one was a little bit wet, so I'm letting it dry out. Um, I'm hoping I can salvage that. But the one that uh, shed the most water is definitely this one. And this one is a Smart Disk Fire Lite 60 gig. And so I'm letting that one dry out as well. So out of the three of these, um, this one's probably in the best shape here. Um, so we're crossing our fingers for that one. But let's uh, check out the uh, IKEA little um, little stroller uh, little stand there that I uh, also got. Alrighty, guys, and here is the little thing I was telling you about here. Beautiful condition, actually. It has some slight scratching on the top. They must have put like a stereo, um, something stereo on the top, or probably something like that. Anyway, uh, the reason why I say that is because when I opened up the top drawer, there were some uh, bleakin. Um, cord wraps here that kind of um, keep your cords organized for your electronics. Other than that, it was empty, but uh, beautiful. Um, this actually matches my uh, home decor. I have this dark IKEA wood, and this is definitely IKEA. Some nice handles on it. Three drawer, um, two and three there, and overall pretty good condition. I'm really really impressed with that. So that's actually a really cool little utility um, cabinet there. You can keep in your living room for you know your remote controls or you know in my garage for some uh, you know some storage something like that and so definitely definitely a great score and here we go guys here's the other thing here that we grabbed here I thought it was for PS2 but it looks like it's just for your TV or something like that these are your input cables for your TV of course and it's Hot Wheels by Mattel um, and it kinda has the little little controllers here and here so I'm not really sure what that's for exactly but uh, interesting I just grabbed that anyway and then this, da -da 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 -da, is the last thing. So completely hard case, beautiful condition. The name of it is Coronary, Q-U-A-N-T-R-A-R-A-Y, something like that. Anyway, um, I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and fire her up. And it looks like couple dividers there and nice padding right there with some dividers nice padding down here so you can actually turn that into a, um, a gun case for the range for the desert um, or some uh, really high-end electronics that you want to keep safe so definitely definitely cool I'm gonna have to look up the value on that one all right guys what do we got right here we got a little keyboard right here man I'm on fire tonight look at this thing right here we got a keyboard we got a computer tower right here. We got another computer tower down there. We got suit pants. That, that's a suit jacket right there, guys. I'm going to have to dig around this for a while and check it out. Well, guys, you guys saw the wonderful products there. Um, so it is now Sunday evening. I'm heading back to my, uh, my house. And, well, right off the bat, um, I'm going to get some close-up shots of it. Um, but uh, earlier today, you saw the Kindle. The white Kindle, um, the plug was down real deep. Grab the plug and grab the Kindle. Fired it up, fires up, beautiful. I have a now a Amazon Kindle. I mean, fantastic. Um, computer towers, a little bit older gateways. Eh, I'm not really sure, you know, the logistics of them. I'm not really sure about the hard drives. Um, now, it's pretty late now. Uh, there were some neighbors around, so... Um, you know, it's, it was kind of old. I'm probably going to go home right now and grab it just for the hard drives. Cause I think they're probably upwards of maybe 320 uh, gigabyte, uh, hard drives. So, um, I definitely, uh, could resell that at least, but the, the tower and all that other stuff, it's probably no joke, probably like including shipping like 60 bucks and it's going to cost like 35 to ship it. So I might as well take it pull out the hard drives um, and you know what I'm doing now guys this is something you want to pay attention to if you find modern computers you guys know about cryptocurrency check the hard drives to see if there's Bitcoin wallets 
on the hard drive. I found a modern computer that has HDMI ports and everything, but it's locked out, I'm locked out. So I got, I got another video I'm gonna do on my other channel where I'm gonna show you how to uh, hack into Windows without the password. So anyway, stay tuned for that, guys. A couple more complexes for the evening. Heading into uh, one, two right now. Call it a night, go back, grab the uh, gateway uh, computer tower. Call it a night. Uh, got work in the morning, and then probably, uh, oh, then I gotta go to the post office. Got a lot to lot to drop off. Um, sold a lot of action I've uh, found recently. So uh, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so normally I stick to complexes uh, when I'm doing uh, my good old uh, dumpster diving, but uh, this evening I am going to uh, prowl around after watching another guy's YouTube video and he had some really good scores at uh, Marshall's TJ Maxx. So right now I am heading behind those stores right now, and again, what you do is there's always a driveway, a loading dock, kind of work your way back there. If they have trash compactors, then obviously it's not going to work. They just throw it all in there. They call it a day. So I'm heading around right now to the back of uh, Ross, you know, the uh, clothing store where you uh, shop for less at Ross and TJ Maxx. I'm going to try not to draw a lot of attention. Um, but we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see what the synopsis is and I already see some security uh, Back here flashing their lights and so on and so forth. I don't know what that's for but uh, The security office I guess is back here. So uh, I'm gonna poke around a little bit see if I can find anything Hey, what's going on guys? So this is one of my first trips in the back of retail to dumpster dive in the back of retail I'm by my house and first thing I see right off the bat is a beautiful picture frame of course, the picture and the glass inside of it are broken, so they set this on top. There's some kind of brand new cage unit system over here. A big, beautiful bow. I'm actually going to take that. Um, a lot of packaging material here. Down here, we see a chair still in the wrapping right here, guys. I'm going to have to come back because I actually I got I got to pee pretty bad. Um, <laughs> Over here, I'm noticing like some like candle holders, something like that. Here's the picture frame right here, big large picture frame. Here's some little small picture frames for, look at that. Has $4.99 on the back of it, and looks like there was like a little bow right there. Mud pie, that's kind of cute. You can maybe put some magic marker in that little hole right there where my finger is. But, I mean, that right there, guys, that's... $4.99 right there. So retail dumpster diving, I'm going to have to start uh, poking my head in here a little bit more and uh, checking anything out. I'm going to probably pull that chair out in that picture frame and uh, maybe I'll uh, uh, put a nice poster inside of that picture frame hanging on my wall. But then this thing. Alrighty guys, we're back at it again tonight. Um, you guys saw me, I was doing a little retail therapy, dumpster diving in retail. Um, I've dabbled in it like two other nights, you know, tell you the truth, I kind of don't veer off from what I know is good, but um, that is the, let's see, actually that's the third time I've been to that dumpster area, of course on the wrong nights. Now it is Thursday night, so this is the proper night for when the trash cans get filled. I always went like the day after the trash was taken out. And of course there's no trash, unless they just had some big shipment. But in the back of that, where those cans were, that we just saw that stuff, that is actually the back of Tuesday morning. It's kind of like a TJ Maxx, kind of like a Ross, home goods, picture frames, candles, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go back there, but I'm gonna go hit a couple complexes first kind of getting the swing of things, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of late right now. The only good thing about retail is that the back of the retail areas, there's really like nobody. There's not going to be a person sneaking up on you late at night, throwing their dogs, you know, uh, doo-doo away or anything like that, you know? So that is one good thing. And you're not going to disturb any residents because there's no residents around. So it's pretty cool right there, you know? Um, kind of a quiet neighborhood. Now, the only people that might creep up on you are some cops. So if you guys are going to hit retail dumpsters, know that some areas do have security. Some areas do have a night crew. Um, if you're in the back of like Walmarts and stuff like that, so be careful of that. Um, they might shoo you away. Um, but I'm heading into a couple complexes right now. 
I will report more when uh, I find some stuff here or head back and uh, start picking through some of that retail stuff again. See you guys soon. Well, guys, uh, my first dumpster, second dumpster uh, of the first complex after I just left you, um, there was a hard shell electric guitar case, but it was like the one with the um, kind of the rooster mouth in, kind of like a an axe, you know, electric guitar, you know, and the case wasn't like, you know, it was older. It was probably like over 10 years old. So I just skipped that nice blue felt inside. Um, don't have a guitar that fits that. So I skipped that one. And then, um, like a potted plant and a chair, nothing really major to film. That's why I didn't do it. Nothing major to film. So that's why I didn't do it, but, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and see what's uh, going for the next one. Ooh, look at this right here, guys. We got ourselves a little computer monitor right here. What what do we got here? View View Sonic. Never heard of it, but it looks a little looks a little bit older, but kind of legit, you know. Um, black, you know. So guys, check this out. I'm doing a little bit of a recon before I go in the gym. Look at that right there, guys. What is that right there? Do you see what that says on top of that? And as we scroll over here. We see there's some action in this can right here. We got a little like coat right here, but I'm, I'm morally concentrated on this right here. That's Chanel, baby. So on the way to the gym, I stop by one more trash can and look at this, baby. Look at this. We got like boxes and boxes of Dr. Dre pill. Well, guys, very, very strange, but I took them all. Um, six, let's see, one, yeah, five, six, five or six. I believe I have six. Pills, Dre Beats Pills boxes. There's three limited edition blues and two girl pinks. So my guess is that someone probably, you know, owns some kind of like salon and each girl has a Beats, you know, or something like that. Something a little strange, you know, definitely not something you expect to find six boxes of Beats pill speaker boxes uh, in the trash. Now I opened up one. It was just the box, no paperwork, no accessories, no chargers, no nothing. I expect all of them to be the same way. But again, guys, I've seen crazier. I've seen people leave behind little charging ports that are worth a lot of money because they don't sell it separately. So I shoved them all in my trunk. Um, and I believe they bought those off of Amazon because I believe it's an Amazon box with all the speaker systems in the box. And so I'm going to go home and kind of, you know, rummage through them a little bit. But in the same complex, this is after the gym, of course. I just got finished with the gym. Uh, the same complex, I found a MacBook Air box. Guys, you know, that's one of my dream finds is a MacBook Air. And I found the box. I'm getting one step closer. So now I just need to find the uh, MacBook Air. I don't care. Crack screen. I'll fix it. You know, I got the box. I'll call it a day. All right, guys, I got a lot more complex tonight. Tonight is Friday night, and we're going to hunt pretty late into the evening, which it already is late. Uh, but the missus is asleep, so I got free reign of the evening, and I don't have to work till 5 p.m. tomorrow night, so I can sleep all day, baby. All right, we're looking good. Stay tuned. All righty, guys, so here's the boxes that we found here. Here's the MacBook Air box. And uh, you know what? Even though it's just the box, guys, um, surprisingly enough, check on eBay. Um, these boxes are going for like $10, $15, even $20 a box plus shipping. It's, I mean, absolutely fantastic. These pill boxes, I saw a couple on there for about $10 plus $9 shipping. And what it does is it just adds value to your item if you resell it on eBay. Some people... Um, like to buy boxes for some oddball reason. So, again, we have um, four limited edition blues. One, two, three, four. Again, nothing inside of them, just the box. But the box is like the Beats box. It's really heavy, um, you know, pulls out and all sorts of cool stuff here. We got a red one. I thought there was two pinks, but it's a red and a pink here. And then, of course, MacBook Air. And they did have some warranty information cards in there, so that was kind of cool. Um, just like the Beats um, warranty information cards. And check this out. This was kind of cool here. This was from the retail um, dumpster dive and I did last night. And even though the top is a little broken here, I'm going to try to figure out if I can paint that and maybe chop off that little sharp edge. But that's a beautiful vase right there, guys. Came with the tag right here and the little broken pieces. 
but um, uh, not all of them, so I couldn't super glue them all up uh, there together. Um, and then, oh, sorry guys, um, also this was the um, uh, Chanel um, sunglasses case that we saw way down deep there. And of course, I wasn't that lucky to find a pair of Chanel's in there, that would have been nice. But the case probably could still fetch 10, 12 bucks on eBay is my guess. And uh, you know what, uh, let's see here, let me uh, see if I can open up one of these for you guys here and show you what uh, it looks like. It's just like the Beats box. Um, it pulls out, pulls out like that, just like the Beats box. And then again on this side here, you pull a little tab, opens up real nice and the, the Beats pill sits there with the instruction warranty manual here. And then this pulls up and of course you get your accessories down there. So. Um, guys, these boxes are really high-end boxes. I mean, they're definitely not um, junk quality. I mean, it's absolutely great quality. They did a great job with the marketing. Um, and I also found actually another um, Beats box um, for uh, White's Beats. Uh, sorry, I got a bunch of other stuff I found uh, last night. Nothing really major to film, but um, there it is right there, guys. Um, was able to find one uh, we got the uh, slip-on cover here they're the white ones the studios and then of course you know you got your little warranty card there and then you know this one zips up here and then it folds big old like that monster beats has a little coca-cola on there i gotta wash off but um, this box uh, my other box i had uh, sold for about I think about 20 bucks and then a few bucks for shipping so um, I plan to sell this one for about 20 25 probably and uh, just for a box guys so check out your local dumpsters for boxes man definitely definitely cool and also what I found last night behind uh, Tuesday morning the uh, retail dumpsters um, check this out this is like some sombrero hat you hang on your wall I have no idea why they threw it away but I flip it around and you know it's black on the back you know there's your little hanging area there and it has a price tag right here of uh, regular 100 sale 70 our price 40 I mean look at that it's supposed to be a print uh, to mirror art I have no idea what that is but guys this is a $40 piece that was just chilling behind Tuesday morning dumpsters the only reason I think maybe they got rid of it was just a little chip up here. Um, but I could take a uh, Sharpie marker, fill that in with a light gr uh, brown, and we're all back to normal. So again, if you're into that kind of that, you know, um, it almost reminds me of something that's coming out of like New Mexico. You know, like Las Cruces, you know, something like um, Santa Fe, you know, kind of interesting. So kind of cool. Um, but then in the same dumpster was this beautiful red bow. I'm going to save that for uh, my missus. Um, next uh, uh, present I give her. How cool is that, guys? Look at that. Nice, big, beautiful red bow, you know? Um, and then, oh, yeah, this was also um, this was also in the uh, the cans there. And, of course, that's why they probably threw it away because the, you know, little thing just zipped right out of there. But um, that had a price tag of $4.99 there. And I could probably just easily, oh, okay, just slip right out under there, though. But... Anyway, so that's something I'm going to start exploring a little bit more is retail um, diving as well. And then there's the uh, computer monitor, the 19-inch one as well that I found. So uh, I did a little recon on this one, guys. This is a 19-inch um, ViewSonic, and it actually has built-in speakers. It actually uh, is able to play HD quality. Fantastic. You got your uh, plug connectors on the bottom here. Uh, looked it up. This is model view sonic model uh, V a look what I found last night a Site Check this thing out watch this look at this thing for uh, a gun ready. Let's turn this bad boy on We got our sights right here look at that. Oh <laughs> Look at it. and it just goes look at that it just goes when you go right in front of it right here Call of Duty. Look at that. How cool is that, huh? Look at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was unbelievable. Finding is probably, it's just exciting. It, it, it is, you, you turn the corner, 
you look in the right trash can and you just see gold. Not silver, not bronze. You see gold. Your heart starts thumping and it's just so joyful, guys. So joyful. I want to shout out to my beautiful audience. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Please tell your friends and all that fun, awesome, wonderful stuff. And you know, the discus zah, he's oh, he's oh, free my feet. Oh, that's it. Yo, if you're sick and tired of paying too much for stuff, just look in that dumpster and you might come up. Yo, come ups, come ups, I come ups a big, come ups a small. People throwing away mad stuff all day long, but then you can sell for cash and gold because all of us need a come up these days. Come up, come up.